Hello, and welcome to this demonstration of Language Portability Solutions COBOL to C-Sharp Migration Technology. In this video, we will demonstrate the steps necessary to transform a legacy COBOL application to a C-Sharp application using MVC and .NET technology. We begin with a brief look at a typical COBOL program. This program is an online program that uses CICS for terminal communications and is representative of the type of program found in most legacy applications. The most common design pattern in COBOL is to create a series of paragraphs that are performed either sequentially or in a nested chain. As we will see later, these paragraphs are analyzed and transformed into C-sharp methods during the migration process. The migration process also transforms CICS execs in such a manner as to eliminate traditional CICS emulation by incorporating those functions into the fabric of the MVC application. The process of migrating a legacy COBOL application to C-sharp begins with passing the COBOL programs through our COBOL to C-sharp filter. The filter analyzes and transforms these COBOL programs into C-sharp. Other tools convert DB2 databases, vSAM files, and BMS maps to .NET technologies. We will now run the filter against a series of programs that represent a simple video rental demonstration application. If any conditions are detected during the migration process that may require manual intervention, an entry is placed in the warning file for that program. Although some situations do require manual intervention, we strive for an automated conversion rate in excess of 99.9%. Once the application programs have been converted to C-sharp, they are added to one of our TX server solutions, depending on whether they will be deployed as internet or intranet applications. Here is the C-sharp version of the COBOL program we looked at earlier. The COBOL program has become a C-sharp class, and the entry point in the procedure division has become a call method. Inline paragraphs in the COBOL program have been converted to methods that are invoked as needed. When we run the application, we can see that program execution is identical to the original COBOL version. By default, maps are rendered in 3270 emulation mode, but, as we will see, this can be easily changed to give the maps a more modern look and feel. To illustrate the application, we select a simple browse from the menu screen. This allows viewing the video rental database using the typical CICS browse techniques. The BMS maps that the online program uses have been converted to MVC views using HTML5 and Razor. MVC models have also been created to pass data back and forth between the application program and the view. Here is the menu program view and model. The models all inherit a common style sheet, and that makes basic style changes easy. By simply changing from the default 3270 style to a web style, the application can be given a more up-to-date look. As you can see, the application now has a web-style screen presentation. More substantial modernizations can be made using the standard HTML helpers and Razor controls. Thank you for watching our introductory video. For more information and videos, please visit the brochures and videos section of our website at www.cobalt2cs.com. Thank you and goodbye for now.